Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Jenny wants to decorate her jewelry box made up of a square prism mounted by a regular square pyramid to match it with the color of her dressing room. For this, she wants to paint it with golden from outside. Find the area of the box that she has to paint. And here, the width and height of the prism is 5 inches and the slant height of the pyramid mounted over the prism is 7 inches. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know some results. And that is, a composite solid is a figure that is made up of more than one solid then area of such a solid which is a combination of two or more three dimensional figures is calculated by finding the sum of the surface areas of all the faces of the combined solid. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out the given question. Now let us start with the solution of the given question. Now in the question, it is given that Jenny wants to decorate her jewelry box made up of a square prism mounted by a regular square pyramid to match it with the color of her dressing room. For this, she wants to paint it with golden from outside and we have to find the area of the box that she has to paint. Now Jenny wants to paint a jewelry box which is a combination of two solids and the two solids are square prism and a square pyramid. Now this is the jewelry box which is made up of a square prism mounted by a regular square pyramid. Now Jeannie has to paint all the visible surfaces of the box. Now to find the surface area of the box, we have to find the surface area of both the solids. Now given side of the prism is equal to side of the base of pyramid which is equal to 5 inches also it is given that height of the pyramid is equal to 7 inches now surface area of a rectangular prism is equal to sum of the areas of all its faces. Now here all the faces of 
the given rectangular prism are squares since the width and height are same that is 5 inches therefore sum of the areas of all its faces is equal to sum of the areas of the six squares now here we can observe that the area that Jenny has to paint does not include the area of the upper base that is the face A, B, C, D. So we will take the area of 5 squares. Now as the upper base is not included in the area that Jenny has to paint, therefore area of the prism is equal to sum of the areas of 5 squares. Now, area of a square is equal to side into side and here side is 5 inches so this is equal to 5 into 5 which is equal to 25 square inches. Now the area of the prism is equal to the sum of areas of 5 squares. So the area of the prism is equal to 5 into area of a square that is 25 square inches so this is equal to 625 square inches and now we will find the surface area of this pyramid now surface area of the pyramid is equal to sum of the areas of its lateral faces plus area of the base. Now the lateral faces of the pyramid are the triangles joined at the apex here also you can see that the face A, B, C, D that is the base of the square pyramid is not included in the area that Jenny has to paint. Therefore, surface area of the pyramid is equal to sum of the areas of its lateral faces. Now, the given pyramid has four lateral faces which are equal in area. So here, area of its lateral faces is equal to area of four triangles each of these with length 5 inches and height 7 inches. Now, area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height that is half into the base B into the height H. So this is equal to half into now base is 5 inches and height is 7 inches. 
So this is equal to 17.5 square inches. Therefore, area of the pyramid is equal to 4 into area of each triangle that is 17.5 square inches. So this is equal to 70 square inches. Now let this be equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now using the result which is given the key idea, the required area of the box that Jamie has to paint is equal to area of the pyramid plus area of this prism. Now from equation number 1, we have area of the prism is equal to 625 square inches and from equation number 2, we have area of the pyramid which is equal to 70 square inches. So the required area of the box she wants to paint is equal to area of the prism that is 625 square inches plus area of the pyramid which is 70 square inches which is equal to 695 square inches. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.